In this video, we're going to talk about how to push a Docker image to Docker Hub using Jenkins. Are you new here? If you are, welcome. And if you are new here, you don't know who I am. My name is Darren Pope, and I'm a developer advocate for CloudBees. So what happens when you build a Docker image? Well, depending on where you're building it, if it's on your laptop, if it's on a different server, that image just lives within that machine. What we want to do is be able to produce a Docker image that can be and will be pushed up to Docker Hub so not only that we can consume it, but potentially other people all around the world can use it. Let's talk about what versions of Jenkins that we're using today. We're using Jenkins 2.277.2. When it was installed, it was installed with install suggested plugins. And we also have an agent connected to that Jenkins controller. To get started, we're going to need to set up credentials to be able to authenticate from our Jenkins controller to Docker Hub. You could use your own password for your Docker Hub credentials, but it's probably better to create an access token. That way you're not using your password as a credential. To set up the access token inside of Docker Hub, log into your Docker Hub account, and then go up to your name, and then click on Account Settings. Once you've done that, you'll click on Security, and right here you'll see Access Tokens. So I'm going to create a new access token. I'm going to give it the name of Jenkins, and click on Create. And then what we're going to do is we are going to copy this token. So I'm going to save that so I can use it in the next step. Now that I've copied that access token over off to the side, let's go over to our controller and set up the credentials. So what we want to do is set up a username and password credential type. So we'll go to Manage Jenkins, Manage Passwords. We'll click on Jenkins, Global Credentials, and click on Add Credentials. So we're going to use a username with password. My username is Darren Pope, and the password is going to be the value of the access token. So I'll paste that in. In fact, I'm gonna paste it in here, make sure I have the right one. I do, that's great. And now I need to set up an ID because we're gonna be using this ID within our Jenkins pipeline to be able to interact with Docker Hub. So my ID is gonna be Darren Pope dash Docker Hub, and the description is also Darren Pope dash Docker Hub. So let's go ahead and save this. Now that we have our credentials set up, let's go and create a job. So we'll go over to Dashboard. We'll click on Create a Job. We're going to name the item Docker Hub-Example. And we're going to create a multi-branch pipeline of this. I already have an example repository that has both a Docker file and a Jenkins file in it. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to add a source. We're going to use git. Let me grab my link for my repository. And this is a public repository on GitHub if you want to take a look at it. You can see it at Darren Pope slash Docker Hub dash example. Let's go ahead and click on save. Now, if you were to go and take a look at this repository, you'll notice that there is nothing on the main branch. That's sort of on purpose. I have nothing there, but I do have a Jenkins file in the 01 no plugins necessary branch. So let's go take a look at this job as it's running. And we can see here that the job ran successfully. If we take a look at this, we have our login for Docker login. We pushed our image up to the up to Docker Hub. And then we did a logout. Well, let's take a look at what our pipeline is actually doing. Before we do that, let's take a look at Dockerfile. All this is is just a from Alpine and whatever the version is. In this case, this happens to be the latest version as of today. But if we take a look at our Jenkins file, what we have is an environment set up accessing our Docker Hub credentials that we defined, Darren Pope dash Docker Hub. We're loading that into an environment variable. First step is we do a Docker build. I give it a tag of Darren Pope slash DP Alpine latest. Then we log in to Docker Hub and I'm using 
the password standard in, you'll notice when we take a look back at our log that it's just giving us a warning that, hey, your password's gonna be stored unencrypted in the home directory where this was running .docker config json. This is up to you. You have to make the decision, is this okay or not? If it's not, Docker has some explanations of how to use credential helpers to help manage that so it is not setting out in clear text. That's out of scope for today, but I wanted you to be able to see this and understand, hmm, I might need to go ahead and take advantage of those credential helpers. Once we get logged in, we just do a simple Docker push, and then finally we do a Docker logout. Now notice how we're doing the Docker logout. I'm doing a Docker logout on the post always for the whole pipeline. I want to make sure that no matter what happens, I always want to log out no matter what the scenario is. Now let's go over to Docker Hub and see what happened. If we go back and take a look at Docker Hub, let me go ahead and close this up here, and we go back up to my account. So I'll click on Docker Hub. That will take me to my logged in information. Now we can see, I had to refresh it. We, now we can see the DP Alpine was updated three minutes ago. And if we take a look at it, we can see here that it was pushed three minutes ago and pulled three minutes ago, and it's all ready to go. And that's it. Pretty short, pretty simple. We didn't have to, but we did set up an access token inside of Docker Hub so we could use that as the password for our credentials that we're setting up inside of our Jenkins controller. We already had a repository set up with a Jenkins file that did a Docker build, Docker login, Docker push, and a Docker logout. And our Docker file was really simple, just from Alpine. So it was a very small image to push up to Docker Hub. There are numerous ways that you can push images to Docker Hub. This is one of the ways that you can do it with Jenkins. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBeesDevs. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there is new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.